Welcome to the PetSmart Charities Humane Alliance Spay Neuter Training Center and thank you all so much for coming and joining us on this day. It is so wonderful to see everybody here. Um, so our first speaker is Bob Tuck, Vice President at Home Trust Bank. Come on up, Bob. Thank you, Mary Ann. What a day, huh? It's, it's beautiful. Um, I was introduced to KEDA and the Humane Alliance over a decade ago. There was a conference being held at the Renaissance Hotel, and uh, I was introduced to KEDA and a few of the board members, Bill and Nadine, I believe, were there. I have to admit that prior to going to meet KEDA, I knew very little about the Humane Alliance. After a two-hour session with KEDA, I came away with the following three points. <laughs> I wanted to adopt every stray animal in Buncombe County, Asheville. I knew the history of the Humane Alliance from day one. And I also knew that I wanted to do business with this individual and this organization. Every organization has a story to tell. And I never, ever get tired of telling this story. Humane Alliance began in 1994. At that time, their biggest asset was a used van. You see, they would travel the back roads of Buncombe County and pick up stray animals. And on the books, their biggest asset was, was a van. <laughs> but they still, but they had and they still have a much bigger asset, an asset that no money can buy. It doesn't show up on any balance sheet. It's an, inten an intangible asset known as the will to succeed. Every employee pours their heart and soul and wind <laughs> Into, into their work. They truly love what they do. It was this will to succeed, strong leadership, and the financial support from a small but energetic group of volunteers, Nadine, Bill, sorry to embarrass you, but without you guys, we wouldn't be here right now. This, this allowed Humane Alliance to overcome the first three to five years of operations that are so critical to a startup. Eventually, Humane Alliance moved into a small, cramped, but useful quarters on Haywood Street. I remember visiting them up there, and they were elbow to elbow with animals and people. And in, in 2006, Keita began looking for a bigger facility, the one right behind us up here. Like most successful long-term business relationships, Humane Alliance and Home Trust relationship is built on trust, communication, and mutual respect. There have been times that I have had to ask Keita to trust our bank, and she did. There have been times that Humane Alliance has asked the bank to trust them, and we did. And the results speak for themselves. Keita, Marianne, Rob, Ann, Carla, and everyone else involved in this phenomenal organization on behalf of Dana Stone Street, Tina Ketterer, Whitney Whitson, and myself, and Home Trust Bank, congratulations. We are so proud to be your bank, and we look forward to your next project. Our next two speakers are um, Esther Mannheimer, the Mayor of Asheville, and Ellen Frost, a Buncombe County Commissioner. Ladies, who wants to go first? <laughs> what a glorious, glorious day. And on behalf of Buncombe County Commission, Chairman Gann is here with us. This is unbelievable. And we say thank you to the ASPCA, PetSmart Charities, but most of all, the Humane Alliance. The Humane Alliance held together with a vision from Bill McKelvey, and who was smart enough and brilliant enough to hire Keita Mazina. <laughs> Let's, uh... <laughs> I've been actively involved in animal welfare since 1999, and, when I, and those of us in the animal welfare community know the challenges this county faced. We had staggering numbers. We had gas chambers and 15,000 animals. It was horrible and many, many hours toiling. 
Akita never said, this is what you need to do. What she said was, this is what we can do to help. The county, maybe Page Foundation, has had extraordinary partnerships with the Humane Alliance, whether it was Pitbull Day or Feral Cat Day. The Humane Alliance has always been at the table with a sole purpose to help the community. And now we celebrate this extraordinary building, $3.8 million, and no tax dollars have gone into this. None. And every worker here, every veterinarian, from the highest job to the, to the bottom rising, are all paid a living wage. And that's an incredible, incredible accomplishment. <laughs> what this building will do, and what the vision of the Humane Alliance, ASPCA, and PetSmart Charities will do, is once again put Buncombe County, Western North Carolina on the map as not only a national leader, but an international leader. People will come from all over the world to practice here. This is an incredible vision. I'm honored to represent Buncombe County and be here today, and I celebrate the Humane Alliance and my extraordinary friend, Keita Mazina. Thank you. On behalf of the city of Asheville, I'd like to echo Ellen's comments. This is an exciting day for this community. And frankly, I'm not real surprised that something this impressive, international in nature, is located in Asheville. This is another um, moment where we have a group that could be someplace else, but is located in this area. And I think that's because Number one, this area is awesome. Um, but two, we have a community that, that meshes very well with this mission. This is a community that is very much interested in animal welfare. And I learned that um, on a real personal note recently. I, I frankly didn't have quite that much of that. Uh, you know, I sort of knew that this was an animal-friendly community, but I didn't f understand the full scope of it. My sister has been... Um, a big volunteer uh, with the Humane Society for a very long time. She is a foster mama to kittens on a rolling basis and, and honestly has elected not to have children and to do this instead. I'm serious. Um, so she said, you know, you really need to go on a tour. I had been out to the Humane Society before, but she said, you know, let's go on a tour and look at it. And we went out there uh, this last February and I fell in love with a dog out there whose name was Flagstaff. At the time, they'd named him Flagstaff. Well, my family, we all came back, and we adopted him, and we had a Facebook naming contest, and his name ended up being Sochi for the Winter Olympics, which was happening at the time. And so we did this, and when we, when we left, they, um, they took our picture uh, with Sochi, and I thought, oh, they must have a wall, you know, where they put it up on the wall or something. Well, my sister calls me the next day and she says, if you looked at Facebook, you have 1,200 likes. I said, what are you talking about? She said, they put that picture up of you adopting Sochi. Well, uh, people went crazy from all over. Asheville I had no idea. It was the biggest political stunt I never knew how to pull. <laughs> And people would post comments, they'd say, well, I don't necessarily agree with your politics, but I'm so glad you adopted a puppy. <laughs> you know, so, so I think that this is just on a personal note, what I've discovered about this area is that we are a lover, um, a lover of animals. And, and finally, just one historical note, I was um, listening to something on NPR recently where they were talking about the history of animal abuse laws and that animal abuse laws actually predate the um, laws that grew up around child abuse. And, they, and the child abuse laws actually grew out of, and I see some people nodding, some people know this history, that we have the evolution of animal abuse laws to thank for the final evolution of child abuse laws. And I thought that was so fascinating and in some ways uh, sort of strangely backwards, but just goes to show that love of animal and animal protection and humanity for animals. So again, this is a blessing and a wonderful day and great for Asheville, great for Buncombe County, and we thank you for your investment in our community.
Guess who this is coming up? Thank you so much. Um, I think all of us are aware that the rarest of pressure resources is talent. And I'm here to promise you Humane Alliance has more talent than any team in the world. And it, it is a privilege and so much fun to work with a team like this that every day, every single day, they want to be better. They truly are the heartbeat and the driving force behind the mission of Humane Alliance. I always say that every time I speak, and that is the one thing that is a constant. They are a team of relentless problem solvers, and they are willing to stretch themselves every day. And I'm really proud. I, we are here to say to all of you, thank you. Thank you for keeping companion animal welfare front and center. Thank you for working in collaboration with us. To our board of directors, you have been here for us. You are prepared and have always kept your commitments. You speak your minds. You are resource rich. And you are strategically engaged but operationally distant. <laughs> In recognition of the beginnings, Bill McKelvey, will you please stand up? <laughs> Stay standing, please. Bill McKelvey has worked in animal welfare with this community for more than 30 years. He had the good sense to realize we needed a spay-neuter clinic in our community, and he founded Humane Alliance in 1994. Julie McKelvey, will you please stand up? I don't know that anyone has ever given recognition to Julie, Bill's wife. And I have to promise you, she is the strength behind everything that he does. And I thank God that she has a degree in psychology. <laughs> Nadine MacArthur, will you please stand up? <laughs> Nadine MacArthur is the angel that wrote the first check so we could open our clinic. She tried to stay anonymous. Um, she did share with me, though, that it was the most expensive lunch she ever had in her life. <laughs> Thank you, Nadine. And Stuart, are you here? Ann Stewart, Dr. Ann Stewart is the veterinarian that owned the first practice so we could open Humane Alliance. She is all about animal welfare and one of my dear, dear friends and the person who actually got me involved with Humane Alliance. Thank you, Ann. <laughs> is Nancy Lyons here? Okay, Nancy Lyles was the first director of Humane Alliance, and I was the first veterinary assistant. 
Um, we had a registered veterinary technician, but, you know, I never thought they were all that important. Anyway, <laughs> Nancy Lyles had been known during the beginning to actually sleep with her paycheck underneath her pillow. So, just wanted you guys to know that. In recognition of some individuals, Carolyn Jackson, are you here? <coughs> Is she here? Carolyn is probably hiding. Carolyn Jackson has volunteered with Humane Alliance since the day we opened. She comes in weekly and spends time with us answering the phone, booking appointments, so I would certainly like to recognize her. Jeff Osborne, our contractor, and here's the kind of contractor he is. He came in at 11.15 last night when he got the message we were without power started searching for the source of the problem, brought in a tree company sometime during the morning to cut the tree that fell on the power line and has been here all night to be sure we had power. So thank you, Jeff Osborne. <laughs> Jonathan Lucas, our architect. Don't know what we would have done without you managing this project. Craig Rogers, you are the greatest neighbor, and we are so thankful to have you. Kate Pullen and Martha Armstrong was not able to be here. Kate, thank you. We will never forget the dry erase board showing us the direction we needed to go. Sue Del Madalena and Patty Finch. Thank you for being here, and thank you for believing in us in the beginning to help provide funding. Home Trust Bank, I don't know where we would be without you guys. You are always there for us. You are there for us not only as an organization, but you are there for our staff personally, and we appreciate that. County Government. I think, and I have, I know most of you and have spoken with you, we are so fortunate because our county government gives $120,000 a year to spay and neuter animals that are, that are being adopted from our local shelter, and that is incredible and rarely heard of. Becky Robinson, president and founder of Alley Cat Allies, thank you so much for sponsoring a community cat curriculum for veterinarians from all over the country. That will be huge. And now what I would like to do is, if you have worked with us, if you have been involved with Humane Alliance, would you please raise your hands? You guys have traveled from all over the country. And I would like to say that it is humbling and inspiring to be part of a collective action with you. None of this would happen without you. You have made a challenge that appeared to be impossible, possible. This is a legacy for all of you. You're the ones that have made this happen. We all want to make sure that every companion animal and every community cat has a safe place to live. Our efforts are driven by commitment, not by convenience and we face the future together as partners. Thank you. And last but not least, <laughs> thank you PetSmart Charities and the ASPCA. You have provided the funding to support this action. None of this could have been accomplished without you. For years, you have actively and continually invested millions of dollars in our efforts. You have trusted us to tackle a big challenge. You have made a long-term commitment to a strategic resolve 
to implement change and improve the lives of companion animals. Through your support, we have trained 137 organizations across this country to open high quality, high volume spay neuter clinics. Those organizations have already spayed and neutered more than four million companion animals. We have trained 470 veterinarians from across this country in high quality, high volume spay neuter techniques. We have trained 380 veterinary students. We have already an additional 540 students scheduled. We were able to host the largest spay neuter conference in the world. More than 3,000 spay neuter professionals have been trained through these facilities. We now will be able to quadruple our training capacity. We would like to invite everyone here to please join us in thanking the ASPCA and PetSmart Charities. Thank you for this PetSmart Charities Humane Alliance Spay Neuter Training Center. of PetSmart Charities. Um, our next two speakers are uh, two representatives from PetSmart Charities, uh, Julie White, who is the Senior Director of Programs, Grants, and Field Initiatives, and Jan Wilkins, the Executive Director of PetSmart Charities. Ladies. That was wonderful, Keita. Really, um, brings back so many memories as we've worked together through the years with PetSmart Charities and Humane Alliance. And I took some time, I kind of had a speech written, and I took some time last night to reflect back to the relationship between PetSmart Charities and Humane Alliance. And I was reading through some of the grant notes. <laughs> and they go back to 2000. Um, so in 2000 was kind of our first partnership with Humane Alliance. And it was interesting because Again, it was a very small organization, Humane Alliance, and PetSmart Charities was relatively small as well. And we heard about Humane Alliance, this group that was doing some mentoring. They had this van, they were going around and they were doing spay neuter, and they were really helping communities um, in the area make a big impact by doing spay neuter. And we were starting our rescue wagon program in the near future, which is a program that was moving dogs from shelters where there was a, a lot of dogs available and not as many homes to areas where there were more um, homes available for them. And as we started looking at Humane Alliance, we realized that they could really help us in those source communities in making an impact and getting to the root cause of it with spay and neuter. And that was kind of the start of it. Uh, we had them do a grant, or we did a grant with them to go out and train some of our very first source shelters um, on the rescue wagon program. And that was in 2000, and that was quite a while ago. Then you jump forward, and Kita, as Kita is, had more ideas. Um, we did another grant with them we jumped ahead seven years. We continued to see the, the program continue to grow, and they wanted a medical equipment so they could do more. So we funded medical, equi medical equipment grant so they could do more for that. And then in 2008, we stood alongside of them and the bank <laughs> and opened what was the new spay neuter clinic at that time. Um, and we were really excited and really proud in how much more they could do in mentoring organizations. And we were so proud to be standing up there and seeing this new clinic and the mentorship it would bring. And as we quickly realized, a lot of organizations wanted to be a part of this, too. And in 2009, the ASPCA joined us in the National Spay Neuter Response Team, which allowed organizations from across the country to come together and get this training for free. And during that time, we also opened up to make a more national approach. We opened up a grant program and allowed organizations, nonprofit startups, to be able to come to this clinic free of charge and get that training. And then we would support them with medical equipment so that they can continue on and open up their Spaniard clinic. And through the mentorship of Humane Alliance, Keita and Dr. Bristol and her entire team, to be able to make these clinics successful today and reach those number of surgeries that you heard her speak about. 
And now we jump ahead to today, and here we are to celebrate not only this beautiful building behind us, this National Training Center, and all the great work that it will do, but this is really a shared vision of PetSmart Charities, Humane Alliance, the ASPCA, and really talking about the change that we can make in animal welfare. So together, we are, we are so proud to have our name on this building, but more importantly, we are proud of the lasting impact and the passion and vision that we are having in animal welfare. Through this proactive way, this is truly, truly a game changer with having a spay-neuter clinic of this size and the amount of work that they'll be able to do here. And I truly believe in the very near future, we will be able to say that Asheville was the epicenter that was the change that allowed us to end pet euthanasia. And for that, I thank you, Kita, and your entire team in the Humane Alliance. Good morning. Wilbur and Orville Wright, Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak, Ben and Jerry. <laughs> These are famous partnerships that have taught us that working together, we can do more. Some of these partnerships change the world. Some of them changed the way we look at the world, and some of them made it just a little bit sweeter place to be. The partnerships, ensuring that every vet student has the opportunity to learn and practice techniques of early age spay and neuter and other related surgical procedures is a key initiative to PetSmart Charity's vision of a lifelong loving home for every pet. The partnerships forged with Humane Alliance and ASPCA to create this amazing program are bringing the dream of ending pet homelessness closer to reality. With this new facility and the expanded ability to provide this training to more students and practicing vets, millions more unplanned litters will be prevented and fewer puppies, kittens, dogs, and cats will be entering shelters where they face very uncertain futures. Together and through partnerships like these, we are getting closer to our dream every single day. Thank you, Kita and the Humane Alliance for your dedication to this important work and congratulations on your new training center. I'd like to uh, invite up one of our board members, Ashley Dobbs, and I'd also like to have Kita please come up so we can give you the keys to your new clinic. <laughs> And we also have this dedication plaque. <laughs> Ta -da. And now I don't, I don't have it memorized, so I'm hoping that this moves over here. <laughs> so, Kita, PetSmart Charity honors the vision and ongoing work of the veterinarian, veterinarian's leadership and staff of Humane Alliance to end pet euthanasia through spay and neuter. Countless pets throughout North America will live healthier lives due to the mentoring and training this new facility provides. Dedicated July 12, 28, 2014. Thank you, thank you. Thank we also have a quote that we thought was so befitting for all the work that you do, and that is far and away the best prize that life has to offer is the chance to work hard at work worth hard doing. Theodore Roosevelt. So thank you, Kita. Congratulations. Thank you, Joy. I wish you much, much success. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yep. you. I'm get a picture with you at the top over here and your keys. Thank you. Our next two speakers are from the ASPCA. Um, so first up is Julie Morris, who is a senior vice president there, and then we'll have Matt Bershadker, the executive director and CEO.
Good morning as well. I'm really happy to be here. Um, it's such a landmark day and so exciting to be here for the grand opening of the new training clinic, or downstairs as I found out that it's called last night. Um, I started hearing buzz in the late 90s about the Humane Alliance and the program that they had and going around mentoring clinics in the van. And I finally made my way out here in 2004, so it took me a little while to get here. And at that time, as Bob said, they were in the old facility on Hayward. And to say the facility was underwhelming <laughs> is an uh, understatement. It was inadequate, it was overcrowded, and yet I left feeling totally inspired. I felt like what they accomplished in that building was just amazing. And I remember writing an article and writing in the article that attitude is everything because the building was not great, but the staff was amazing and attitude won out. And now, 10 years later, attitude is still everything, though it certainly doesn't help to have two world-class medical centers with the latest technology and all of the expansion and surgical training centers and all of that, but it still is attitude as well. And it's incredible. Every time I come here and I meet new staff members, I'm impressed by their expertise, their technical knowledge, their compassionate behavior. And I guess the thing that impresses me most is you can find skilled veterinarians and skilled spay-neuter technicians, but what they all have in common is passion, dedication, commitment, and heart and soul. They bring everything that they have to this organization. And it's all of Humane Alliance that we saw earlier. They're all now scattered to the winds and probably doing work already because Kita didn't give them that much of a break. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, it's just really nice to be here. I wanted to read two quotes from students, or actually one student and one veterinarian have been through the program. So that requires glasses. So the first is from a student at Louisiana State University who went through the program. And she said, after my time at Humane Alliance, I feel a renewed dedication to the cause and a new sense that that what I'm able to do can really make a difference for animals in the community and hopefully reduce euthanasia rates. This program was my favorite rotation of my clinical year, as much for what I learned as for meeting the driven, endlessly patient and compassionate staff of the Humane Alliance. And I think that speaks for many of the veterinary interns. The second one is from a private practitioner. And she said, I really admire everyone who worked so hard to keep this training going. I will be giving back more than I realized. So um, you can just tell from the impact, yeah, from the impact of people that come here and go through the training, not only the impact that it has on the animals in their community, but of them personally. Um, what they came away with, it's energizing. They come back to their communities. They can't wait to come back. Um, the VP of our veterinary outreach program finally came down here recently to do training. She hasn't done surgery in 17 years. She used to run our spay neuter clinic and hospital, and she's dying to come back already. So she ha it, it leaves people with that feeling of inspiration. So I wanted to say on behalf of all of the ASPCA and my colleagues, we bow down to the staff of the Humane Alliance and all of the work that you've done. This is a great day. Hi. On behalf of the ASPCA, I'm thrilled to be here. I got a chance yesterday to get a sneak peek at what's going on in this building, and I'm hard-pressed to think of a better investment for the ASPCA dollars than the Humane Alliance. We're also here to publicly recognize the incredible, incredibly high standard of veterinary care and efficiency created by and now represented by the Humane Alliance. This work has inspired life-saving work across the U.S. and as we've heard, in fact, across the world. Veterinarians are on the front lines in the fight to save lives. They represent the main point of contact and oftentimes the most trusted point of contact for pet owners. And through spay-neuter surgeries, they wield the most effective tool that we have in our fight to end the needless euthanasia and suffering of homeless pets. The work being done here at Humane Alliance is making spay-neuter faster and smarter everywhere, touching millions of lives. 
It is with complete dedication that this team explores every opportunity to maintain and increase the already high levels of quality and speed, fine-tuning their techniques to be as precise as they are purposeful. And as we've heard, the numbers speak for themselves. 23,000 surgeries here at this, in Nashville up there, 800 vets and externs trained already, over 135 clinics opened up in the U.S. and Canada. All that started right here in Asheville. And in case you're wondering, this facility is booked through May 2016. And that's why we're here, and that's why this is so important, because this facility, as we learned, will quadruple Humane Alliance's ability to touch and train veterinarians and veterinary externs. But as the name implies, the Humane Alliance program goes well beyond simply teaching the latest, latest surgical techniques. Importantly, it expands their sensitivity and commitment to animal welfare. It empowers them to be thorough and complete advocates for animals. Every veterinarian and every extern coming through this program brings home the potential for enormous life-saving impact and also the potential to influence local animal welfare issues. It's a big opportunity, but it's a far larger responsibility, and Humane Alliance recognizes that and they embrace that. Our support that we're celebrating here today with our partners, PetSmart Charities, is just the latest chapter in our longstanding commitment to Humane Alliance. We made our first grant exactly 10 years ago, and we've made grants to Humane Alliance every year since 2007. But the relationship with Humane Alliance is far deeper and far more intimate than simply financial. It's based on a strategic partnership of shared values and a shared belief that we have an obligation to these animals and that welfare and science go hand in hand and that what we do for these animals pales in comparison to what we get in return from them. Homelessness should not be a death sentence. It's a problem we can solve if we continue to act courageously, if we continue to innovate, and if we continue to collaborate. And that's exactly what's going on here at Humane Alliance. And that's why we're so proud to stand here today and for many years to come. Before I conclude, I want to personally thank a few people, and it really begins with the entire Humane Alliance staff. Thank you and congratulations. I also want to thank Julie Morris, Kate Pullen, Dave Bittorne for their commitment not only to this project, to Humane Alliance, but also you, the Asheville community for your commitment to saving lives both with passion and smarts. We admire you and we applaud you, but mostly we're thankful to be a part of it. Thank you. I forgot, I, I forgot something. So Bob, I know you can't cash this, but... Kita? Mary Ann. is um, Dana Stone Street, who's the president and CEO of Home Trust Bank and the immediate past chairman of the Asheville Area Chamber of Commerce. So um, I just want to say that before Dana gets started that uh, Dana will wrap it up. We're going to have a ribbon cutting and then we will be leading tours through the building. So stick around. Um, there are surgeries going on inside so you'll get to see the building in action. Dana? Yeah. So those of you involved in the ribbon cutting, uh, the chamber would bring uh, the scissors and the ribbon and begin to set up as I make just a couple of comments. First of all, I want to start off by reading a letter that was sent to us by the United States Congressman Mark Meadows. He could not be here, had to be in Washington. Also, it so happens today's his birthday, so he sends greetings and says, best birthday, birthday present he's ever had with the opening of this building today. But he says, Dear friends, thank you all so much for being here. 
Today we are celebrating the expansion of the Humane Alliance, a truly wonderful organization. The positive impact they have on our co community cannot be overstated. By educating people, showing compassion to animals in need, and working hard to solve problems efficiently, the Humane Alliance reminds us all there is no problem that cannot be overcome with a strong vision and excellent work ethic. The staff at the Humane Alliance not only work tirelessly for the benefit of our community, they share their mission and vision by training professionals from around the world. The positive results that the Humane Alliance experiences reflect an effective method. Congratulations to the Humane Alliance on their new training center. It is my sincerest wish that you will continue experiencing success in your endeavor to save animals and increase awareness around the world. Sincerely, Mark Meadows, United States Congressman. Also wanted to share a quote by a veterinarian who came through the program. He said, my experience not only made me a better person and surgeon, it has also emblazed a passion, given me a new direction, and showing me my purpose as a veterinarian. Well, as the chairman, outgoing, just past chairman of the Chamber of Commerce here in Asheville, we really want to congratulate PetSmart Charities, the ASPCA, and the Humane Alliance for the collaboration that you all have created in order for this new facility to be possible here. It's truly a milestone accomplishment for all three of these great organizations who are literally impacting the world. We have the Chamber of Commerce, and we are proud as a chamber to recognize the impact of the Humane Alliance, Pet Spark Charities, uh, and the ASPCA. And if you'll get your cameras ready, <laughs> Keita's going to hand some fairly big scissors to Pet Smart Charities and the ASPCA to cut this ribbon uh, on the Pet Smart Charities Humane Alliance Spay Neuter Training Center. And we have a little bit of music to lead up to this cutting. So, and by the way, we have the best musicians in Asheville doing our music today. <laughs> These people are awesome. So if you'll give us a little roll here, we'll have a cutting.